Minnesota's congressional races is among the most closely watched in the nation, and it's one of the nastiest. Chief political reporter Tom Hauser is here to tell us about a new campaign ad that doesn't get much lower. Tom, you put it through the truth test. Yeah, we sure did. Not all campaign ads, Cindy, are on television. Many of them come directly to your mailbox at home. These ads, critical of Republican Eric Paulson, are among the most over-the-top and outrageous we've seen so far. In 2007, a Texas congressman held a fundraiser at this burlesque club in Las Vegas called the 40 Deuce. It's located at the posh Mandalay Bay Casino Hotel. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee has turned that fundraiser into two glossy direct mail attack ads against Republican Eric Paulson. Paulson's picture is plastered on the ads, claiming he took $5,000, quote, raised by Texas Congressman Pete Sessions PAC at the 40 Deuce Strip Club. That assertion is false. Paulson's campaign did accept $5,000 from Sessions' Political Action Committee, but there is no way to determine if the money came from that event. According to federal records, Sessions has raised nearly a million dollars from many fundraisers, and it's illegal for any money raised at a specific event to be earmarked for a specific candidate. These ads are also misleading because they leave the impression Eric Paulson is some high-stakes Vegas regular who frequents strip joints. A campaign spokeswoman says he's never been to Las Vegas or to a strip joint. Because of misleading and false information in these ads, we give them an F on the Five Eyewitness News truth test. And further, these ads also claim Paulson received a total of $2,500 from two other congressmen who have been under federal investigation. That is true, but it's also hypocritical because Paulson's opponent, Ashwin Medea, has received nearly $50,000 from Charlie Rangel and PACs that he controls. He's a New York congressman being investigated for tax evasion, Cindy.